Okay, so what I'm going to try to show you today is how to paint on the spirals on a pine cone and then use this to apply our Fibonacci sequence information we've been studying. So you're going to need, I like to use a couple of different colors of this paint. Um, when you use this paint, use it very, very thin or you'll end up with a huge mess. You're also going to need some kind of a paper towel or paper plate or newspaper underneath you because the pine cones do shed their, um, their detritus and it just gets kind of messy. Plus you're going to want something that you can just wipe your fingers off when you start to, um, when you start to paint and it gets on your fingers. So if you look really, really carefully, you can see on the end, this is the stem end of your pine cone, you can see that there are spirals. And I've left one of them unpainted for you right now. So you can look at this one right here that's not painted, and you can see how that'll be the next one that I paint. So I'm gonna take my white paint, and I'm gonna really, really carefully and not squeezing hard at all, I'm going to apply paint to this final spiral. Um, whether you start from the inside by the stem node or start from the outside, it really depends on you and how you can see the spiraling and also what kind of pine cone you have. I've found that these with the really flat bottoms make it pretty easy to see the spiraling. Some of the ones that are more open can be difficult to see. So here I'm just really carefully applying that last, that last um, line of paint. And if you don't quite get exactly to the center, it's okay. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and then what I do is I count how many different spirals I have here. And that's where having two different colors of paint makes it a little bit easier. Um, so with my pine cone here, I counted those up and I found that I had eight separate spirals on this pine cone. If you want to, you can take it further and go down into the body of the pine cone. It gets trickier and trickier the more open it is, but it's still possible to do. And note that eight is a Fibonacci number. And that is what we're trying to notice with this activity is the Fibonacci sequence numbers being found in nature. You can do a similar activity with a um, pineapple. You can also look at the quantity of petals on flowers. There's a lot of different ways you can see these numbers in nature. Um, you can look on leaves and see how many leaves are on a stem. A lot of times those are different Fibonacci numbers. Hope you have fun.